Hey guys, welcome back to Festive Forever. You know what is so different about this vlog and my upcoming vlogs? I am heading off to Rajasthan with my family, and I have decided to cover right from the food places, shopping, shopping streets, street food, and much more. So stay tuned and watch this vlog and all of my vlogs till the end. Let's go. Perfect. Ideally, I was going to do my room tour tomorrow, but I just feel that everything will be messed up by tomorrow. So in case if I'm not able to do it, I just thought I might as well do it, though it's like two o'clock in the night. So I'm staying at KK Royal Hotel and Convention Center. And apparently this property is quite old, but it's very much suitable for my needs because like most of the time I'm going to stay out, but still the property is very good. I'll show you the property in the morning. The detailing of this room is quite minimum, guys. We got an old school bed, some lamps on the bedside, full length mirror and the bathroom got a bathtub. So that's a plus point. So you got this beautiful mirror and I think it's wow. kind of good if you really want to get ready. You can just get ready over here. I did not realize it earlier, but when you open this, you can actually sit here and you know just chill have your tea it's like a hidden hidden sofa but it's very comfortable and at the same time it's like something different which you won't see in you know when while having staycations in mumbai so this is something very different good morning guys now right now it's 9 30 in the morning i didn't have breakfast yet I actually saw the breakfast spread but I didn't like it that much but I have taken snaps for you guys so in case if you want to have it you can just do that. I am going to call for a la carte. <laughs> property looks quite beautiful so we had like hectic day yesterday so that's why we have decided that we are going to stay here indoors till evening right now i'm going to show you this property let's go <laughs> important noticeable thing about this hotel is that it is very much closer to Amir Palace but away from the main city it would nearly take you a half an hour to reach the main city but 10 minutes to reach Amir Palace it kind of worked for us let's head towards the restaurant on our way we also took a halt at Jal Mahal and I have to say that it looks much prettier in the night with all the lighting I don't think so you guys are expecting this but for my 100th vlog I'm at Spice Court in Jaipur. This restaurant is known for its hospitality ambience. It is considered as one of the best restaurants in Jaipur. So let's go inside and enjoy this experience. Let's go. guys as you have already seen now the restaurant is divided into couple of sections there is indoor outdoor but mostly people prefer to sit outdoors because you know it's little pleasant weather and at the same time it's very much pretty there are folk songs going on and mostly people prefer sitting indoors in the morning or in the afternoon because it's sunny it's hot so people don't like to sit now 
whatever I have called is going to arrive one by one. But the first thing that I got over here is this masala papad because there were not really many choices. There were like Chinese starters and then there were North Indian starters, which I am, which I didn't feel like eating. Chili, honey, potatoes, and then tikkas. Something I didn't want it, so I have just called for masala papad because that's basic and that's everyone's favorite. We got the papad over here, some onion, cucumber, tomatoes. That's it. Luckily, they have divided in couple of sections. Easy to grab the food. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I think they are going to follow the name of the restaurant. They are going to make each and every dish very spicy. This masala papad is more on the spicier side than on the sour or tangy side. It's my chaat masala hai, but बहुत ही कम quantity में डाला है. But red chilli powder जो है या फिर जो spiciness है वो भर भर के डालिए. So that is one thing you have to make sure if you're coming here that you have a special appetite for spicy food. I hope. That other dishes are spicy too, but my first impression is like you know it's going to be spicy. Moving on to our main course, whatever dishes I have called are primarily or mainly main course because all of them were you know fall they were falling under the category of Rajasthani food. Since I am in Rajasthan or I am in Jaipur, I had to call for them. One dish that is very famous at this restaurant is their mutton bati. Now I have had. dal bati olio but i have never tried mutton bati so this is maybe your first time and my first time to try it out you to of course see it and for me to eat it look at the size of this bati guys once you lift it the quantity of ghee guys you can literally just pour away and the size and it's super super sturdy we got a lot of ghee over here which i'm going to pour over my bati So I'm going to break this bati which is very very hot. Oh my god. Look at the steam oozing out of it guys. It looks super super yummy. So I'm going to pour some ghee right here. And then we got our dal. Now since it is mutton bati, we got this mutton gravy. So I'm just going to pour some over it. one word fab ajwain is little bit dominating can you see the color so the mutton is exactly you know like a keema mutton keema kaise hota hai waisa keema hai aur isme thode se aisa ajwain ka taste hai thoda sa jeera ka taste they have actually made it in tandoor and it's not really crispy i would say that the outer portion is very sturdy it's a thick layer of wheat flour koi bhi flavor itna dominating nahi hai ki aapko pasand nahi aayega and this red gravy is little spicy it's not really you know you know sar or something like that it's like simple your mutton gravy made with onion tomato and little bit of uh, red chili powder bahut hi acha taste hai mujhe bahut acha laga i'm definitely giving a 10 on 10 to this bati do try it you're simply going to love it you're going to thoroughly enjoy it okay guys mutton hamara yahan par thoda sa khatam ho gaya because everyone was eating it but we still have some left for us so it is very similar to you know mutton bati ka jo gravy hota hai thoda bahut waisa hi hota hai but baad mein they add many spices and you know dry spices to it and we also got this mutton here we have kher sangri now frankly speaking i didn't know what is this exactly i was very clueless about this kher sangri dish i'm going to serve myself some of this going to add some lemon guys this mutton is cooked so properly it's easily getting separated and the gravy is in bright red color isn't it too tempting one thing i'm going to say it that it's going to be so spicy that it will just explode in your head next we are going to try kher sangri so now the dish is actually let's i just had to grab some knowledge about the thing because it was so i was so clueless about it so the name of the berry is kher berries and they are made with beans along with indian spices your regular spices little bit of tanginess and um, and moderately spicy that's it the food is good 
I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my family time. Right now, my family has already done with their dinner. Apparently, I'm just blabbering. So I'm gonna enjoy my food, and then we can go ahead and do our favorite festive rating part. So guys, now it's time to rate my experience on my festive meter. You know what? The restaurant itself has a pleasant vibe. I uh, like I have not really sat indoor or I was not really inside, but outside with the pleasant vibe and with the pleasant weather, it's it's kind of a feel good restaurant. And the second part, you have to try the mutton bati and lal mas. It's like it's like if you come here, you cannot go without eating these two things. Lal mas was loved by each and every person in my family. So, considering all the factors, I'm gonna rate my experience ten out of ten on my festive meter. So, guys, do consider coming to this place. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram that is festive forever four. So I guess that's all for today. I'm going to see you in my next vlog. Till then, live life festive style. Bye bye.